Good afternoon, YouTube viewers. I want to. I came here today to talk to you about my special Mike Britt's Wizard Potion. This right here is a clove. All right. You drop it in the tea. <laughs> That's not it. Okay. All right. Well, that I mean that's part of it. So you make tea. You gotta use two tea bags. I recommend Earl Grey tea. You know, it's all right. I got some Japanese tea, but I'm afraid it might be radioactive. Um. So you fill the glass halfway with hot water. You put in the tea bags. Then you're gonna have to use a little bit of cinnamon. But you can't use any cinnamon you gotta get uh, this kind of cinnamon there you go did you know most of the cinnamon sold in America 99 percent of the cinnamon sold in America isn't actually cinnamon all the health benefits you read about cinnamon doesn't even apply to the stuff that you've been eating as cinnamon in fact there's like a little bit of toxicity to it check out the link below get the real story on cinnamon so good luck finding this stuff they don't sell it in the United States you have to order away I mean there's very few uh, there's a few 99.9% .9 of people sell the fake cinnamon. So where are we at? I'm going to make a list for you. Wizard Potion. You're going to need tea. Stay away from Japanese. Because of the radiation. Um, I would draw the biohazard symbol here, but... Uh, kind of looks more like the recycle symbol. Okay, anyway halfway hot water. Oh, also I gotta to tell you, you gotta have twice the amount of tea. Halfway hot water. And I don't mean it's halfway hot, I mean you fill the glass halfway. So you need the real cinnamon. There's four different species of cinnamon. And this is the classical true cinnamon. The thing that we have in America is called cassis or something like that. Alright, then you're going to need a spoonful of organic peanut butter. You can't use that regular peanut butter. It's got the high fructose corn syrup and stuff. And you got to check the ingredients. It should say peanuts. It's okay if there's some flaxseed in there, but... Uh, okay, so... Organic peanut butter. It's kind of expensive, and you're going to have to refrigerate it after you open it because there's no preservatives. Do you really want to be made out of preserve? Okay, anyway. Uh, after that, I put in... And I put in just a teaspoon of organic peanut butter into the concoction. Then, we're going to need the organic maple syrup. That's where I put maple syrup in there. Uh, you can't use... Again, you can't use Aunt Jemima's high fructose corn syrup. You have to get the actual maple syrup. This stuff is, is just from the tree. Uh, there's a lot of good Canadian companies that do it. Look up the bottle. I mean, they do sell it in stores. It's like a lot of money, but uh, investing in your health is the best investment you can make. You uh, you think people are really going to be collecting silver coins after the uh, power grid goes down and we're all like trading bullets? You really think we're going to be trading pre-1965 quarters for bullets? Anyway. If you want to be in good health and survive anyway, whether the economy collapses or not, uh, the human body is the best investment you can make. Because if you uh, if you put enough into it, you're only going to increase your future earning potential. And um, you need uh, raw honey. Now again, you can't use the clove honey, the clover honey. Uh, and a lot of times when you get what you think is real honey, you look at the label, it's apparently not. It's actually really hard to get raw actual bee honey. And um, when you do find it, it's a little expensive. You might even find some honeycomb on the top. This stuff crystallizes a lot. You might have to add a tiny bit of water. But um, anyway, but that it's all of these ingredients uh, have health benefits that have been known for generations, thousands of years. And... 
You notice how hard it is to get these things now? They used to be all around us. It used to be plentiful. And now we have this perceived scarcity because we've set things up to make it so we live far away from the... The food is, like, imported from thousands of miles away. Anyway, so... I believe these are the only... Oh, yeah, and then I throw in a clove at the end because that stuff's good for the, uh, the nerves around your teeth. So before you put the honey in, you have to fill the rest of the cup up with uh, room temperature or cold water, then mix that in with the hot water. If you pour the honey right into the uh, boiling hot water, it'll kill all the enzymes. That's why you got to keep it raw. Uh, a lot of the fake honey that you go buy, the stuff's been cooked. Any helpful enzymes that were in there have been destroyed through the cooking process. Most of your foods like that. I hear you're supposed to only eat raw foods and eat flesh straight off the animal if you are going to kill an animal. I'm not ready for that, but I'm willing to learn. I mean, it sounds cool. It makes sense. We've only been cooking food uh, the way we do recently, and um, a lot of the food isn't nutritious to begin with. So if we're killing off most of the... Yeah, I guess there's so much bacteria and stuff nowadays because the food is so old by the time you get it. You know, if it was grown right next door, maybe there wouldn't be as much of a need. But then you would still have people die. I guess we want to make sure nobody dies. Anyway, Wizard Potions, really good stuff. Every single sip just, like, wakes you up. It's really cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.